Hi, welcome. Thanks for joining me. On this episode of Build Your Own, we're going to build, price, and option a 2021 Kia Sedona EX, as well as learn about the features and other configurations. Before we do, however, I just want to remind you that if you find this build and price review helpful, informative, or entertaining, please like, share, and subscribe to my channel. While three-row SUVs are very popular, you still can't beat a minivan for family hauling duties. Power sliding rear doors make minivans a cinch for kids to get in and out, and a deep cargo well behind the third row seat gives you space for securing and hauling extra cargo. The 2021 Kia Sedona builds on top of these traditional minivan strengths with expressive styling and a pleasant interior. Even though the Sedona dates back a few years, it was last redesigned for 2015. Kia's minivan stacks up well against newer rivals. The overall impression of the cabin is one of quality and comfort, with nicely textured plastics, soft leather, and ample seat cushioning. The Sedona also has one of the most intuitive infotainment systems around, plus a full complement of advanced driving aids available on mid-trim models. Buyers on a budget should also be satisfied with its competitive pricing. While the Chrysler Voyager is less expensive overall, the price for the Sedona's mix of features can't be beat. The 2021 Kia Sedona minivan comes in three trim levels, LX, EX, and SX, all of which come standard with eight passenger seating. Under the hood is a 3.3 liter V6 engine that makes 276 horsepower and 248 pound-feet of torque. That drives the front wheels via an eight-speed automatic transmission. The LX is the base model Sedona and it starts at $30,400. Standard features include 17-inch alloy wheels, automatic headlights, power adjustable driver's seat, a seven-inch touchscreen, a six-speaker audio system, and Apple CarPlay and Android Auto smartphone integration. The mid-level EX starts at $33,700. The EX adds a bunch of features and costs just a bit more than the LX. Its upgrades include 18-inch wheels, roof rails, keyless entry and ignition, remote control sliding rear doors, rear sunshades, leather wrapped steering wheel, heated front seats, leather upholstery, three charge-only USB ports, a wireless charging pad, front and rear parking sensors, blind spot monitoring, and rear cross traffic alert. The EX Premium Package bridges the gap between the EX and the range topping SX. Features on this package include heated and power folding mirrors, chrome exterior trim, a sunroof, a hands-free liftgate, an auto dimming rear view mirror, tri-zone automatic climate control, driver memory settings, four-way power lumbar adjustment for driver's seat, a power adjustable passenger seat, a 110-volt household-style power outlet, four collision mitigation, lane departure warning, and adaptive cruise control. The SX starts at $41,500, and the SX is the most luxurious Sedona available. Starting off with the EX contents, it adds the EX premium package, LED headlights, a noise-reducing windshield, selectable driving modes, a heated steering wheel, ventilated front seats, an 8-inch touchscreen, voice recognition, a navigation system, an 8-speaker Harman Kardon audio system, and a 360-degree camera system. Okay, let's jump into this build and price review of the 2021 Kia Sedona. Real quick before we get started, I just want to remind you to take a look at some of my other related build and price reviews. I've put links down in the description below. Obviously, the Kia Sedona competes with other minivans, and I've recently done build and price reviews of two of them. I recently did a build and price review of the 2021 Toyota Sienna in the top tier platinum trim. I did the 2021 Chrysler Pacifica in the top tier pinnacle trim. And I also did the 2020 Chrysler Voyager LX. I haven't done the 2021, but I can assure you Chrysler probably has made little to no changes over last year's model. So after you watch this video, make sure you watch one or two of those other videos as well. Okay, so before we jump over and do our build and price of the 2021 Kia Sedona in the mid-level EX trim, let's check out these exterior colors, the interior colors, and the features. So this interior color here is called Silky Silver. Uh, here's Aurora Black. We've got a Snow White Pearl, a Celestial Blue, and a Panthera Metal. And we can also, it looks like, can we do a 360? Yeah, we can do a 360 virtual walk around of the exterior 
as well. Now, we can also check out the seat trims. And you know what? The Kia Sedona is not bad looking. It looks, honestly, it looks just as nice as a Toyota Sienna. When I did the Toyota Sienna video, I was very impressed with that. And I like the Sienna a lot. As so far, uh, I like the exterior of the Sedona as well. So their interior photo thing or how you could do the 360, this leaves a little something to be desired here. But nonetheless, we can see the interior of the Sedona. We can see the seat trims. This seat trim is called uh, Dark Graphite Leather. Really? That's, that's interesting. This seat trim here, what's this one? This one's called Dark Graphite Cloth. And then we have this Camel Beige Leather. Look at this power adjustments on the seat right here. You see that? That's pretty interesting. Let's get a shot in the back. That looks nice. Third row or second row. There might be a... Yeah, there's a third row back there. Excuse me. Yeah, it's a minivan. Duh, of course there's three rows. Uh, I do so many SUVs. Sometimes I'm always just thinking about SUVs. But you know what? Sedona, not bad looking. Not bad looking at all. Okay, now let's check out the features for the 2021 Sedona. And let's start with the convenience features. So there's an available smart uh, power lift gate that automatically opens when it senses your smart key in the vicinity. So you don't have to use your hands or feet. It's just going to open for you. There's this standard slide and stow seating. That's pretty cool. See how this, this uh, seat right here is on some rails and it can slide forward. And this one completely folds flat where the skis are, you can see. So you've got some serious utility inside this Sedona. Sounds like nobody will get their hands smashed with this anti-pinch anti -pinch sliding doors. It's standard, and it's got a built-in sensor that can detect if there's an object in the way. The Sedona comes standard with a seating for eight, and uh, it looks very comfortable and very spacious in there, especially with these sliding second-row seats. So you can get some adjustment in the back. If, if it's a little cramped in the back, you can slide these seats up. So that's super, that's really cool. Uh, and then here's an available feature, which is a cooling glue, uh, glove box. Okay, so that was convenience features for the 2021 Kia Sedona. Now let's check out the interior features. So here they're just talking about the driver setup. Uh, the center console, how it's got lots of storage. And that there, there's a standard rear view conversation mirror. So that way you can keep your eye on people in the back. They mean your kids <laughs> in the back. Here's available tri-zone climate control. And yeah, they break down what that means. The driver has his own, his or her own settings. The passenger has their own settings. And then in the back, there's another set of adjustments back here. And that can adjust for this whole other zone, the third zone, tri-zone. All right, here's a cool feature. I'm not really into it, but it's a cool feature. I like the heated seats. I'm not really so much into the ventilated seats, though I have to be honest, I haven't really experienced them. But you can get, uh, there's optional available heated and ventilated front seats that you can get on the Sedona. What else do they have here? Stain-resistant fabric. Yeah, if you're going to have a minivan, surely you're going to want some stain-resistant fabric uh, by Yes Essentials, apparently. And that's standard when it comes to the cloth interior. And that's going to repel stains, odors, and static. Okay, I guess here they want to show us some notable exterior features, such as the LED headlights, wheels, the front design, and the rear design. These LED headlights, as they tell us down here, they have a little sentence. These LED headlights, they're available. These are not standard. These are not standard option. So there's available LED headlights. As far as wheels are concerned, there's available 18-inch machine finish alloy wheels that are going to provide an aggressive stance and striking first oppression. Uh, I think that that definitely looks good. You got the black minivan. You got those nice 18-inch wheels. Maybe I don't. Maybe I don't want to do the black exterior color, but I do. I do like the wheels. So apparently the Sedona is sleek, muscular, and sophisticated. Why? Because it's got a deeply raked windshield and it's got a bold tiger nose front grille. Around the back, you've got wraparound uh, rear glass. There's available LED tail lights, uh, tail lights. There's integrated bumper guard and standard stylish rear spoiler. Uh, they don't really show us the spoiler here, but we'll have to take their word for it, I guess. 
The Sedona only gets one engine. It's a 3.3 liter V6, makes 276 horsepower, and the towing capacity is 3,500. Okay, let's talk about technology features for the 2021 Kia Sedona. Here they're talking about the available center console wireless charging pad. All you have to do is place your compatible smartphone on this uh, on this space, and it'll charge it. We can also see they have the aux port over here and a USB port as well. Uh, here they're going to show us the standard Apple CarPlay. Here's the Android Auto. And then here you've got the Harman Kardon. This is the upgrade, the available surround sound audio system with eight speakers, external amplifier, and a subwoofer. Connectivity features. Okay, everybody's got an app. Uh, Kia does as well. They call theirs UVO. Uh, and it's an available. It's an available e-service. So you can get like a parking minder, which is cool. Uh, you can check out vehicle maintenance and services and all that kind of good stuff there. And then they also have points of interest that's also available with this with this uh, available e-services. Okay, Kia DriveWise here. Kia DriveWise is their driver assist technology, and I think it's all standard for all Kias. Or maybe not, because look, it says right here, the available park distance warning with forward and reverse. There you go. You got one feature there. Here they're talking about the forward collision avoidance assist with pedestrian detection. This is also an available feature. So I guess maybe the Kia DriveWise is a suite of advanced advanced safety features because the advanced ones are always the ones that are going to cost you additional, like the surround view monitor, the available surround view monitor, bird's eye view, three, it gives you a 360 per, uh, perspective, all that kind of stuff there. Here's your available smart cruise control with stop and go. And then finally here, you've got the available camera-based blind spot collision warning. Okay, now let's learn about the safety features. All right, we learned about the driver assist features. Now we're gonna learn about the safety features. The Sedona has is made of over 50% high strength steel, has an advanced airbag system. It features sensors that are designed to detect and respond to the severity of impacts. The Kia Sedona comes standard with electronic stability control and traction control systems that help you stay on course and avoid wheel spin. Also, additionally, uh, there's a brake assist system that's designed to sense certain emergency braking situations and boost your braking pressure. And then there's also an electronic brake force distribution that's designed to adjust brake pad or brake bias front to rear, depending on conditions. Okay, so here we are looking at the configurations again. Why? Not because we're going to go over them. We're looking at them because, well, we've gone through all the features. And you know what? Let's go and do the build of this. Okay, so here we are on Kia's uh, configurator. We've got our Sedona EX selected. We can go through our exterior colors. You know, I think I like the Aurora Black. I think we're going to go with that Aurora Black for sure. Uh, so, but that moved us to the LX trim. Let's get off that trim real fast. Kia's got one of those configurators where if you, they allow you to select things that aren't part of your particular trim level. And so they'll change their trim level. Like for instance, I'm hovering over this cloth interior. Well, of course the EX comes with leather interior, but they offer you the option to click cloth. Well, of course, if you click the cloth, it's going to bump you down to the LX. So over here, we already have selected the dark graphite leather. We can see what that looks like here. This is the dark graphite leather right here. And that doesn't look too bad. We've got the Aurora Black exterior, and then we've got this you know, dark graphite leather. However, I think maybe this camel beige leather might look kind of good. And I think I'm right. Yeah, I think it just adds more color. It adds more something to this interior that I think it needs, but I can't tell you what it is. So we're going to do this uh, camel beige leather interior, and then we've got the Aurora black exterior, uh, and I think that looks good. Now all we need to do is we will – obviously, we're going to option those 18-inch wheels that I think look great. We need to go on and select some other options, though, first. 
So when clicking options down here, it says choose your must-haves or select a trim. See, that's where it gets confusing because sometimes selecting some of these options here might move you to a different trim level. And so you're not really sure always what to do with this. Like, for instance, say you want the smart rear sliding doors. Does that change our configuration from an EX to some other model? Yes or no? Actually, it is kind of smart and a little more intuitive this time. I tried to select smart rear sliding doors, and it said, hey, you already that's already part of your package already with the EX. And then I went to select this for collision avoidance, for instance. And it says up here, hey, you got to upgrade to the SX trim level if you want to do that. So you know what we're going to do? We're not going to worry about those must-haves. We're going to go straight with this EX. And that's kind of how this works with Kia and Hyundai. Their, their website's the same way. And so, yeah, they've got these other packages and options. We went over that EX Premium package. And at $5,000 almost, you might, as well upgrade to, you might as well upgrade to the SX because that's where all the extra stuff uh, is. Your four collision warning, your lane departure warning, your driver attention warning. If you want all that cool tech that we went over, the driver assist technology, you got to get either the EX Premium package or go ahead and get yourself the SX package, one or the other. Uh, they got the rear seat entertainment system. Don't need it. They got a cargo net, wheel locks, mud guards, carpet mats. These are all just accessories. You can get remote start with a bush button start. I think that's cool, but I'm sure this vehicle already has that setup. So here's what we're going to do. I didn't see that option for those 18-inch wheels anywhere. That was the thing. Maybe that option's only available on the SX. I'm not sure. At any rate, here we are at the summary. The vehicle costs $35,000. Uh, it was $33,000 to start, and they charged us almost $400 for the black paint. Other than that, yeah, that's about it. There isn't anything to option. And that's always, that's usually the case with Japanese cars, uh, Korean cars, like not many options, though the Sedona did come with that, you know, that premium package that you could upgrade for 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 forty eight hundred dollars but that's that's not typical at any rate thirty five thousand dollars out the door i didn't see the need of of, of adding a five thousand dollar package to a vehicle like this you might as well get the sx if you're going to do that at all and i like leather interior the ex gets you into the leather interior so why why be bothered with another model so yeah uh the the Sedona, it's a nice minivan. It's as nice as any of the other minivans. I Honestly, though, well, you know what? I'm going to take that back. The Toyota Sienna is particularly nice, and the Platinum trim level is particularly nice. So really, honestly, if you're in the market for uh, a, a minivan, you've got to check out my build and price review on that Sienna. <laughs> Uh, nothing wrong with the Sedona. I'm trying not to take away from it, but the Toyota is just a nicer product. Uh, on that note, you know what? I think I'm going to go ahead and wrap this video up. If you found this review of the 2021 Kia Sedona EX helpful, informative, or entertaining, please like, share, and subscribe to my channel.